let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Memorandum of the New World Everlasting Gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, Leader Olumba, Olumba Obu, the Supernatural Teacher. First lesson, St. Mark chapter 8, verse 34. And when he had called the people unto him, with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Golden text, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 to 2. I charge thee, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Introductory chorus When the word of God is in my heart, when the word of God is in my heart, when the word of God is in my heart I will have I will have life quote brethren my duty in the kingdom of God is to preach the word of God because the kingdom of God is nothing apart from the word of God which constitutes power, love, humility, peace, faith, hope, patience, self-control, and all virtues. Wherever you find these virtues, there also the kingdom of God exists. Listen to the word of God and practice it so that the entire world may see the presence of God and accept Him. The Word of God is everything. Brethren, the Word of God does not only exist here in Calabar, but throughout the entire world. Go and preach. Go and teach the people of the world about the Word of God. Let them lead them to the accurate knowledge of truth. The problem of the entire world and its people is that they thought the word of God is meant for certain people. It is for all creations of God. Brethren, you cannot claim monopoly for the preaching of the word of God. It must be preached in all nooks and crannies. When, whenever you come to the Father, it is your place to listen attentively to the Father and comply with His divine instruction imparted to you instead of being attentive when you are before me. You pretend to be listening to the Word of God, but as soon as you get back to your station, you do a completely different thing from what I taught you. I want you to practice this very word. Go and teach others same so that all would receive light. Many people claim that they are not brotherhood of the cross and star. Many people claim that they are not members of brotherhood of the cross and star. Uh, and that brother of the cross and star is not a church. Brother of the cross and star is the kingdom of God where the word of God dwells. It is not a church. It is also the dwelling place 
of the entire creation of God, where they listen to the word of God and practice it. Wherever the word of God is received in the world and the people practice it, peace, tranquility, and progress abide in such a place. The word of God is not something anybody should reject. Whoever rejects the word of God has rejected life, good health, progress, and every good thing in life. But if you receive the word of God, you receive life and all good things. Therefore, preach the word of God wherever you go. Your duty is to preach the word of God because the word of God was in the beginning. When you see man, you have seen God. And in the same vein, when you see God, you have seen the word. The word was with God. And when God created man, he used the word. Do not speak evil word. Do not listen to evil communication, nor yet involve, nor get involved in evil at all. But let your prayer be the word of God. The word of God existed before the foundation of the world. Therefore, when you go to preach, do not tell people the Father said, but tell them the Bible says. As an ambassador of God, you must avoid fornication, stealing, and all sinful acts. A man of God must marry one wife. The same with a woman. They both should abide in peace at all times. The scripture is universal. Brethren, the word of God was not exclusively meant for the Israelites alone. When the Lord Jesus Christ commissioned his disciples, he said to them, Go therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. That was in Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 to 20. Brethren, now, those who had erroneously thought that the word of God is restricted to Calabar and Aqua Ibom State or to members of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star should take their correction. The word of God comes not only to a particular people or race, but the whole world, including those who are yet to be baptized. This is because the word is life. This is the memorandum of the new world. The memorandum of the new earth, the government, business organizations, factories, and all human organizations, whatever you want to embark on, you must of necessity include the word of God. Let this first lesson be read again. First lesson. St. Mark chapter 8 verse 34 And when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also he said unto them Whosoever will come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Brethren, many of you think that this portion of the scripture is mainly for the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is for you and, and for me and all those who qualify to be called Christians. This is the reason why our Lord Jesus Christ said, Whoever would come after him should deny himself and take up his own cross and follow him. 
whether you are a village head or a prime minister or a governor, whatever you are in life, if you want to follow God, it is of a necessity that you go from house to house preaching the word of God. Help the destitute and do not count yourself worthy. Do not say to yourself, after all, I am the king, I am the prime minister, or I am a queen. I cannot bring myself down to preach the word of God. Do not stand by while the field is ripe for harvest. You should deny yourself of certain comfort in order to evangelize the world by carrying each other's cross. Brethren, the world is blind and incapacitated. All what we need to do is to disseminate the word of God and also put it into practice so that we would in turn gain life. No matter how wealthy you are, without the word of God you are nothing before God. But if you have the word of God, you have got everything and without it you are perpetually under bondage. In Hebrews chapter 12 verses 4 to 7 it says ye have not yet resisted unto blood striving against sin and ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children my son despise not thou the chastening of the Lord nor faint when thou art rebuked of him, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons, for what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? Brethren, our Lord Jesus Christ is the last foundation. So do not submit yourself to the things of this world. You should submit yourself to the word of God. Abide by his injunction so that you could gain eternal life. Part of the problem you have in brotherhood today is your failure to read the memorandum of brotherhood of the cross and star. If you open the book and read, you will find very useful information in it. All what is contained there is meant for you to practice. If you practice one and leave the other, it means you have failed. Brethren, this scripture was not meant for you to read like a newspaper. Rather, it was written for your spiritual awareness and salvation. From the teaching you read, you are then to pass it to others by denying yourself everything in the world and submitting yourself to face calmly any, any tribulation that comes to you. It is your place to carry the word of God to your house, to your people, to your community and to all the creations of God in order that you may gain eternal life. The word of God is the only law that binds the entire creation. The present generation and the generation yet unborn are under this divine law, the word of God. The word of God is our father, it is our mother, it is the way, it is the life and it is everything. Through the word of God you can receive everything you need from God. If we are not under the word of God it means Salvation 
salvation will elude the entire world. It is generally believed that as a civil servant, you must abide by the rules and regulations governing the civil service. In the event of deviation, the person involved would have to be disciplined. In the same token, those who fail to abide by the divine instructions of God as contained in the Holy Bible are indirectly fighting against the real government of the universe. The Bible is the only instrument of rulership. Therefore, in order to live a peaceful and progressive life, you must abide by the instructions of God. If you practice the teachings of God, all will be well with you. Before our Lord Jesus Christ gave up the ghost, while on the cross he said, It is finished. By this declaration, he meant that all evil practices have been completely destroyed and washed away. So, we are now expected to be under the rulership of our Lord Jesus Christ. In another instance, he said, You should not call anybody teacher or master. For there is only one master, and we are all brethren. The Bible is the only worthy teacher to the entire world. Brethren, if you open the Bible now and carefully look into what is contained in it, from Genesis to Revelation, reading chapter by chapter, you would realize that the entire world is in darkness and incapacitated. So, in this kingdom, our main assignment is to practice the word of God so that we will receive life and peace. It is for this reason that the words you speak are not from you, and the words I speak are not from me, but from the Holy Scripture. It is also for this reason that you are advised by our Lord Jesus Christ to preach the word of God unceasingly, whether in season or out of season, preach the word of God constantly. You are to reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and humility. So when you come before me, you should receive the word of God, put it in practice, and take it to others. If you fail to carry the gospel to the outside world, how then would the people gain eternal life? Brethren, whether the nationality or community of a person, you are to preach the word of God to him without any discrimination whatever his nationality this is because it is the only way and life to mankind we are no more in the mundane world neither do we lust after the things of this world we are under the tradition of God this is the message you must carry to the world that our common law is practicing the word of God and abiding by it in doing this do not say to yourself after all I am not a man of God what then are you the importance of numbers. Brethren, I have said it repeatedly that there is, I have said it repeatedly that three is a lucky number. Four is an unlucky number. Two also is unlucky. In the same vein, the first and the second generations have passed away 
And this is a generation which the word of God abides by. You should, in likewise, spread the good news. Brethren, do not indulge in fetish, nor consult necromancers. Free yourself completely from the traditions of your forefathers, because the word of God has conquered the whole world, so you have to abide by his word. This is for the entire creation of God. A testimony, brethren, you may have heard a testimony by one brother, Nikoruwen. Nikoruwen have, have held a brother who was a member of, of about 68 different occult societies. But Brother Nico Yuen himself was a member of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, and that his elder brother lived in, in London. So he wrote and invited Nico Yuen to come over to London and be initiated into these secret societies. But he refused, informing him that he has his own God. When the man heard this, he was not happy and so started to try him in many ways. At last, God, through Brother Nicaruen, successfully burnt all the 68 certificates and temples which his elder brother had attained. Brethren, have you received the word of God? If you have got it, then impart it to others. You must also free yourself from the doctrines of the world and stick to the word of God. If you comply with every instruction given to you by man, you would eventually be led to damnation. All what you need to do is to abide by the word of God and teach others to do the same. The Almighty God, the creator of heaven and earth, is now on earth to establish his eternal kingdom. Therefore, we now have only one Father, one city, and one destiny. And one destiny. It is only God's divine instruction that we must practice in order to have abundant blessing. Let our golden text be read again. Golden text, Second Timothy. Chapter 4, verses 1 to 12. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing in his kingdom. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Brethren, that is what we have for you. You do not have any other duty to do than what is written in that text. Now that you have received this message, it is expected of you to reprove, rebuke, inform others of what you have received here. Tell the people not to quarrel, but to live in peace with one another and to completely avoid evil deeds. Let the light of God dwell in them so that they may receive peace. The love of God is sufficient to all and His peace is abundant. So, do not believe that God loves others more than he loves you. 
is love is equal to everybody. In the same vein, man is advised to love his wife and the wife must honor her husband. Have you now realized that both love and honor are inseparable? The two are necessary for a peaceful coexistence. To the children, he said, children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well pleasing unto the Lord. To the fathers, he said, fathers, provoke not your children to hunger, lest they be discouraged. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband as it is fit in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and be not bitter against them. Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well pleasing unto the Lord. Fathers, provoke not your children to anger, lest they be discouraged. This was in Colossians chapter 3 verses 18 to 21 brethren from this you should know that honor is love and love is honor in a situation where there is mutual respect and love there is peace and oneness but if love and honor are from one person then everything there is in vain we must love and honor each other because through this we receive the peace and blessing of God. This is exactly what God does. God has not kept anybody to be at the head of anything because he himself is the creator of everything. His words are pieces of advice and those who fail to abide have themselves to blame witness 1 peter first peter chapter 2 verse 7 to 8 it says unto you therefore which believe he is precious but unto them which be disobedient the stone with the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner, and a stone of stumbling, and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. Brethren, this portion of the scripture is very clear. If you do not abide by the instruction of God, it means you would stumble and fall. Brethren, remember what God said to Cain and Abel? He instructed them to come and sacrifice before him. But Cain failed to do so while Abel did exactly what he was instructed to do. Accordingly, he received his full blessing. In Revelation chapter 15 verse 5 it says, and after that I looked, and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was opened. Brethren, the problem faced by the entire world is traced to our rejection of the word of God. We do not want to put it into practice, his divine teachings. And for that reason, we face a series of problems in life. Brethren, daily you receive the word of God. And of necessity, you must abide by it. Put other things aside and carry the Bible to preach to the people so that they may gain eternal life. Beloved, it is said that a stroke of the cane is sufficient unto the wise. Let he who has ears to hear, let him hear. 
May God bless his holy word. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.